Good morning people, how are we doing? It is the 6th of July, it's a beautiful Thursday. It is a beautiful Thursday. Some steps have already been boxed off today. Now, if you want a bit of creativity or ideas on nicer ways to get your steps in, something I've been doing over the last few days which has massively impacted my morning mood and the productivity for the rest of my day, is I wake up, I have about a litre of water just to hydrate myself and before anything I go for a walk. However, I leave my phone at home. Life can be chaotic, life can be very overstimulating and it just gives you a little bit of morning mindfulness just to kind of plan out your ideas for the day, think about things you need to think of, settle little conflicts in your head which you may have had from a day before. So I will definitely recommend giving that a try. Regardless, today is a full day of eating. Not eating particularly a lot, but I'll give you guys a new insight into what my kind of day in my life looks like eating, trying to maintain from show to show. Now today is a rest day, so unfortunately this is 50 grams of carbohydrates less than I normally have, but we are also deloading now until I am in America, so that'll be very interesting. Next time I'm going to be in the gym, I will be in America. But yeah, cheers to a full day of eating. Let's see what I can cook up. Peeps, we have got meal number one going in right now. Who said you can't eat good on prep? We have got basically a full English breakfast, which is two wholemeal bagel thins with one egg, 250 grams of mushroom, and four reduced fat bacon medallions. Now, this meal is going to come out at 329 calories, in which 36 grams of protein, 29 grams of carbs, and eight grams of fat. And then, also on the side, to add um, a little bit to my sweet tooth, we're gonna have a little protein pudding thing. I'm not too sure yet. See how I feel after eating this, but meal number one, people. Full English breakfast, or we'll call this a half English breakfast, because I don't feel like it's a full one, but I mean, if you really enjoyed a full English breakfast, you probably could load this up with two eggs, eight bacon medallions, it just means you'd have to pull back from the rest of the day. But little switches out, people, to your diet. Reduce fat bacon medallion, bagel thins instead of a big bagel. 320 calories in that. Try and think of other things which could be 320 calories. I saw a cordial the other day, which was 320 calories per serving, which was silly. Also, a bit of tomato ketchup. Now you'd be surprised, the Aldi owned brand reduced sugar and salt is actually lower calorie than the Heinz one. And weirdly, cheaper the tasting ketchup, but after prep that would not be the case, I bet. That would not be the case. Girl, don't trip, take a hit, take a flight You already know, it's new coffee pod time. This is meant to be chocolate in Italian, which I'm not gonna try and pronounce. Yes, it's four o'clock. Is it optimal caffeine consumption time? Not at all. Is prep optimal? Not at all. Cheers in Italian. Let's see if this actually tastes like chocolate. Doesn't taste like chocolate. Does have a little bit of a chocolate tea roast to it, I guess. That's actually very nice. Thoroughly enjoyed that, actually. Sometimes I find with instant coffee, I can just make these massive jugs, however, if I have a little espresso cup, then it's actually quite enjoyable. Probably because of the volume of it. Again, little volume allows you to appreciate a bit more of the quality of it. So, coffee connoisseur here, coffee connoisseur. Doo doo doo. Oh, you bastard. Why does the doorbell always have to go off when I start filming? So meal number two has been pushed back a little bit later in the day. It is four o'clock. First meal in went in at half eleven. Um, but that's life on prep. We adjust, we kind of stay flexible. Um, so actually a lot of my carbs are gonna be a bit backloaded. So if I'm a bit heavier tomorrow, tomorrow morning, um, that's completely normal. Regardless, we've got 200 grams of air fried kale. Basically Chinese takeaway seaweed, as you know. 
Um, and we have got 100 grams of cod with a bagel thin. Now, I was going to have chicken, but chickens annoy me a bit at the moment because it's so protein dense. The amount of volume you actually get is not. And I just really couldn't be bothered cooking chicken. So, we are trying today cod for the first time in a long time. Um, now, I know I'm not allergic, um, but I mean, I wanted to try it. And if there's any time to try new food, it's on prep. Um, so we like to kind of, what I'll end up doing is ripping the bagel thin apart, putting a little bit of on, and probably a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt. Nice little delicacy. Um, and to be honest, we're not far after this meal, I'll grab some cereal or some oats or something like that. Because again, we have got a few more meals planned, but carbohydrates need to be eaten. I mean, I'm actually not where I need to be in terms of carbohydrates today. Like, I'm actually pretty far behind so we'll figure it out when it comes to it but first of all we're going to enjoy this delicacy of a meal um cod bagels and crispy kale yeah lovely bash now we have got meal number i'm gonna call this 2b 2b because i'm having this about half an hour later just to make sure that all my meals aren't left till like 9 10 o'clock tonight when i'm gonna be super bloated so we have got 50 grams of porridge oats with 10 grams of dark chocolate and plaz. And then we've got some skinny sauce on the side. Give a little bit of squirt of that. And I feel like a nice little honey bear. So happy days there. Uh, really do like my porridge oats, I have to say. You really do. There's something about them. You do have to get the right consistency though. Like this is the right consistency. And you have to let it settle for a second. I see a lot of people having it very watery. No, no, no. Is she the dark chocolate? No, that is way too hot to eat. Can I get it? No, I cannot. Too hot. Now this next meal is gonna be a saucy one, I'm telling you. Um, and when I say it's gonna be a saucy one, we're gonna mean saucy to me. Standards are in the bin right now. Do you mind, Hob? Do you mind? Less talking, more cooking, more chefing. I've heard immense things about this Schwartz All-American Burger seasoning. And I'm gonna be highly disappointed if you, go, if you guys have been lying to me. Not gonna be happy. We have got meal number four on the plate, which is again, 200 grams of kale. I say every time, I just enjoy it. It fills me up, tastes nice. What's not to like? It's about 40 calories. So good little stomach filler on the side, as well as a little burger. A burger on prep? Who is this guy? Who is he? Little bit of sauce on as well. Not too shabby. People are generally baffled when I literally just say, this burger is less than 300 calories. It's like 270 calories, about 30 grams of protein. Big Bosch, um, compared to something like a Big Mac, which is like, not, obviously, obviously. Um, but yeah, this is my nice little craving filler. And we have got a little bit of a dessert in about an hour, an hour and a half, which is just gonna be a nice little day finisher. Um, and also, it's gonna finish off a protein for the day. But I'll let you guys see what that is when it comes to it. Gonna get the thumbnail here, if it wants to focus. Last meal of the day is about to go in, ladies and gents. Now, like I said, this is gonna be a bit more like a pudding. And for some reason, with each meal, I like to have like a little sweet tooth thing on the side. Like, at the moment, I'm a bit more of a sweet tooth individual. More in terms of efficiency and practicality. Oats and whey, cereal and whey is a lot easier to make than taking loads of chicken breast and putting it in an air fryer, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna quickly chef this up and it's like a little pudding. But that burger, mate, was amazing. Burger, burger. Now, as much as I love a good protein pudding, these things are basically the same amount of calories as one, which is basically just a scoop of whey protein blended, the trick is, with a tiny bit of no sugar milk with ice in it as well. Throughs it up, make it fairly thick. Then once you stick the berries in, basically what happens, berries then... Ah, it's brilliant. It's the closest thing you're gonna get to like a nice little pudding on prep. Um, 
But yeah, that is gonna actually finish the day off in terms of eating. That is gonna put the day at 148 grams of carbohydrates, 176 grams of protein, and 35 grams of fat. I am gonna drizzle a little bit of peanut butter on this as well. Yeah, no, that is my full day of eating. That comes out at 1,607 calories. Now, hopefully, by the time I've edited this video, I will actually be in America. I'm attending a family, family wedding over there, and I'm going to try and pump out a video or two whilst I'm over there. No promises, because it's family time. I'm gonna have a lovely time, a few little off plans, little bits and bobs, because you've got to figure out where memories and morals meet your goals, and where the realms of reality kind of happen. But yeah, I hope you guys have loved this video. Um, leave a like, subscribe, comment, and if you want, if you want to see more of a prep series, we are now less than five weeks out from our next comp. So that is going to be good fun. Programs, coaching in the bio. See you guys next time. See you in a bit. Peace.